Hello everyone. I am Ashwin Kulkarni. Welcome you all in this quantum computing learning journey. It's a good time to start quantum computing right now because it has a very promising road map and a bright future ahead. So let's get started. Hi. Do you guys remember the words on which we left in the last video uh, such as bra, cats or vector space also, right? So uh, you must be wondering uh, throughout this week, uh, throughout the last week, what does uh, those words mean and what actually uh, the significance in this quantum computing, right? So actually, uh, these bra and cat notations are not only related to quantum computing, but these comes from quantum physics itself. So these are direct uh, bra and cat notations, which is able to uh, write a vector uh, vectors into it. So let's jump into it and uh, uh, let's see what what uh, those means. So these are called Dirac bra and cat notations. So you have seen this fancy thing such as this as well as this, right? So these are called as cat. Cat. This is what we have seen in the last video. So what is cat? Cat is a simply column representation of a vector. So this is a column representation, and this is also a column. So this you have must seen this in linear algebra, right? Now, uh, now you can guess what is a bra, right? So bra notation simply uh, simply denotes by sorry. like this and it is a column representation. So this is the two column and one row vector and this is two row one column vector. Now these bra and cats are conjugate transpose of each other. What, what I mean by conjugate transpose is if you represent a vector like this, then here, so, so this is a cat vector. Then your bra vector, which is denoted as this, is simply a conjugate transpose of this. So what is conjugate transpose? You can, uh, you may remember or you, you might not. So in linear algebra, we have a conjugate of a vector, which, which simply means in a complex number, we keep real part same as it is and we just change uh, the direction or the sign of a complex number. Uh, so that is called as conjugate of a vector. So for example, if your vector is, one and this is your i so this is a complex number then it's co its conjugate will be one and i right and what is a transpose transpose is simply changing column vectors to row vectors and row vectors to column vectors uh, simple as that so if you convert its transpose then it will be simply one and i and that is what you can correlate with this. So for example, if you write 0 as 1 and 0, then simply its conjugate transpose will be 1 and 0. Same as this. Since it doesn't have any, any uh, complex number, uh, we, we, uh, we, haven't, we cannot see any particular conjugate happen into this. So this is how bra and uh, cat direct notations are. So guys, I know this, this, uh, this is overwhelming for you, but don't get stopped here. The full puzzle will get solved uh, later in this video or in upcoming videos as well. So the basic question that must be coming in your mind is why are we even dealing with this vectors, right? What is the significance of it and what, what is the use of it? So uh, let's, let's deal with it. So in the last video, I already explained that classical computer uses bits 
which uh, which is in the form of zero or one now the transistors pass the current uh, in case of one and stops it in case of zero now to represent this particular bit we use value as zero and one which has only magnitude it doesn't have any particular direction so what i mean to say is you cannot represent zero or one in any particular direction such as x axis or y axis or z axis it is just in the form of magnitude it is zero or one it cannot be in part any particular direction right but uh, to represent a qubit we need magnitude as well as direction and there comes a vector so in linear algebra you uh, you can uh, you can simply read about it or you must be knowing it that a vector can uh, can have both magnitude and direction and that's why we use those vectors to represent any particular uh, any particular state in quantum computers that is a qubit state now with this we need to jump into uh, we need to jump into computational basis so this is the new term as computational basis so before that let's jump into it what is mean by a basis so a basis is set of vectors span over your vector space uh, in or in your computing arena so this is a set of vectors span over computing arena now what i mean by this is with the use of these particular vectors you can represent any particular state in this particular uh, in that particular vector space so for example um, for example uh, let's say you have a particular vec you have a particular space i am not uh, representing it as any particular space but to define this particular state or this particular point you must have some set of basic vectors to define this point for example in case of uh, classical computers we represent this as x axis and y axis and this particular term will be a combination of uh, will be some some uh, form of uh, uh, x and y right so same way in quantum computers the vector space which is getting used is hilbert space now what is a hilbert space hilbert space uh, is simply a complex vector space uh, span span uh, span in an arena and which is a, which is used to uh, define any particular quantum state now hilbert state uh, uh, hilbert space is defined by a uh, david hilbert scientist uh, which is a mathematician in uh, 1902 or uh, in the period of 1902 to 1912 he used it to represent a fourier transform and we are using it to uh, to define any particular state in a uh, in a quantum computers so for example as i have already explained the basis uh, what is a basis right so in a in a 2d hilbert space we have basis as these two ket vectors as 0 and 1 so these are the basis of uh, this particular hilbert space now to represent any particular quantum state you can uh, you can simply specify it using this form so we we uh, i mean usually uh, while uh, representing the circuits and uh, any particular qubits or combination of it we don't need to go much deeper into hilbert space but it's good to know uh, this particular knowledge like for in a classical computer we use euclidean space to define any particular point but in a uh, quantum computer we use hilbert space to define any particular quantum state so in hilbert space all these basis vectors are linearly independent of each other what i mean by that is 
zero vector and one vector these both are linearly independent and this is a property of um, any basis in any particular uh, any particular space okay now uh, as as this information is uh, pretty much for this particular video uh, we'll be uh, going into much deeper concepts of uh, quantum physics such as postulate of it and uh, how it is correlating with quantum uh, quantum computers uh, in later video so let's jump into what are the key takeaways of this video so first is direct notations then the second one is computational basis third one is vector space and the final one is hilbert space okay just go through uh, any particular documentation on uh, on internet or with all these terms and you can get much more deeper knowledge uh, on it uh, suggest me anything in the comments below and like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much we'll see you in the next video bye